lot. Like, I'm a mom. I love to cook. Like, I love to work out. And that's, like, why I'm moving back to Maryland. I'm opening up my own spin studio. Yeah. But I've been living in L.A. for about 12 years now, and I'm an actress, personal wow. assistant. Yeah, so kind of been doing it a lot. You know, like, anything that I feel like I love, I do. You know what I mean? Do you feel like at this point in your career in different branches, you found what you're most passionate about? I definitely think I have. Like, for the last four years, I've gotten a love for spinning. And now I'm going to go back to Maryland. I'm going to open up my spin studio since I have the opportunity. And that's the spin class, like, with the bikes. And like and the hip-hop music and the glow in the dark. It's like the vibe. How how long in your journey in the past 12 years did you realize, you wake up, oh, my gosh, it's spinning. This is what I need to follow. I've been spinning probably the last five years. And probably within the last year... You know, it came across my mind. I said, man, you know, if someone could pay me to spin every single day, I would totally do it. You would do it. You know what I'm saying? And now, you know, my mom owns her own building in Maryland, so she's going to give me the space next door, and I'm going to spin every day. Shit, four four times a day. I'm so happy for you. you. People go their entire lives not finding their purpose or their higher calling or what they're most passionate Mm -hmm. about. I, for myself, I've always, you know, been unbalanced in deciding what it is. And I feel I'm finally getting there. But you know what? It takes too. a long time. You know, like when I first moved out here from Maryland in 2006, I came out here to do modeling. I didn't think about doing no acting. Wow. I ended up getting into acting and I ended up writing a book and I ended up going to college and getting a first generation Sweet. degree in my family. So, and then got into spinning. Now I'm going to go back to Maryland thinking that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I didn't think I was going to do that when I first moved out here. For all y'all who are sitting at home doing nothing, I'm hearing a lot of ambition right Come now. On, Tune man. in. You know what I mean? You know, Tune at the end of the day, real. you want to wake up every day and just love what you do. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be whatever. You know, if you do love acting, I'm not taking that away. I still have a passion for acting, but it's kind of taking a backseat to what I want to do. Because right now, I really want to motivate people, especially of color, to get more fit, to care about their life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be 40 in June, and I don't look it because I care about what I eat. I care about exercising. I care about being happy. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So. Why mm-hmm. people of color? Like, why is that? A I just think that, you know, I'm, I mean, I just think, like, living in L.A. What, you I don't mean, want white people to live? No, I mean, white people are living. <laughs> Shit. White people are living. Come on, white people are They don't even look in it, but they're living. So what I'm saying is, like, in L.A., fitness is all day long. Why there's traffic all day long? Because there's housewives and people who are going to spin studio, spin and yoga and Pilates in the middle of the day. So in other areas that are not L.A. that are as much fitness... We're, we got nine to fives, you know what I'm saying? And they're yeah. not eating healthy and they're not living right, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to jobs where they may not love, you know what I'm saying? So I want to go back there and, and do what I love and motivate people to, to look good and feel good, you know what I mean? I'm actually looking for a fitness photo of you right now. There was one that I commented on recently and I can't find it. Was it on IG? Uh, I, I believe it was on, on Facebook. Facebook. So I'm looking. What I like about your story while he looks for that photo is that you did do modeling you yeah. did do acting, but you had, to, I'd imagine you had to be fit to do that. You know, I think I, you know, so it's interesting. So I have, I have, I have, and my son just turned 17. So like when I first had my son, like, you know, I had like two years and I had this like little baby fat and I was like, oh, you know, I got a trainer. So right. I was like, I want to get fit. Right. And so what, after I got a trainer, like when I started working out after the first month, I was like, man, I love how my body's looking. And that made me motivated to work out every single day. You know what I mean? And then so after I did that, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to do some modeling now. So I was when I was living in Maryland, when I after I had my son, I was in the army. So I got out of the army and then I started working for the government as a contractor. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck this job. I don't want to do this shit no more. I hate it. I hate driving down 295 traffic oh, every single day. And fucking dealing with that traffic. shit every day. And I said, you know what? Forget this. I was I had a top secret clearance for the government. And I was like, you know what? I don't do this anymore. Making like seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 a year. I was like, I'm going to go work at Hooters in Baltimore. And I wow. loved it. I loved it. Because you've, it was my personality. You've literally done it all. But in doing it all, you found your passion. What I was getting yes. at, the silver lining and the spinning, yes. is that through working out to maintain for the acting and modeling, yes. you found your passion yes. while you thought you were doing your passion. Right, you found right, your true, right, true passion. Right, right. And I just always tell them, they don't ever let anything limit you to be like, this is what you're going to do, because you never know what you're going to do. Like I said, I didn't move out here to do acting. I didn't move out here to write a book. I didn't move out here to go to college. I came out here to do modeling, and now I'm getting ready to open up my own spin studio. And you so. just inspired my words of the week. And that's, can see? I share my words of the week with you? Do it. Do it. <laughs> the further you pursue your curiosities, the closer you get to your destiny. Why does this sound like... GK. Gay sex, bro. Like, that's I just hilarious. need to understand... I don't is, think my meant calming, that, is my calming <laughs> voice? Uh, it's your calming voice. You? It's your soothing yeah. energy. Is it my soothing it soothes energy? me. 
It soothes me. Sorry, I meditate, bro. Well, we we would like to get to know you better, and okay. one of the ways we do this is by playing a little game called either or. Either or. Okay. Now, in this game, we give you two selections, and we encourage you to choose one. Strongly encourage you, not force you to pick one. And there is no gray area, so there's two options. We prefer that you don't come up with a third option okay. and try and pick one of our options, and we may or may not cycle. So straight, straight to the point, either or, or like I can elaborate a little bit more. You can there. elaborate, oh, okay, but okay. we just pick yeah. one of the options, yeah, please. Okay. And we may or may not psychoanalyze you right after you get us. Y'all ready? Because I'm gonna be real. <laughs> we always this is what we do. Apples or oranges? Mm. Oranges. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oranges. Mm. Unless it's a Fuji apple. Fuji. Now, now she. Gave Re- remember the part where we. Oh yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go, remember, I'm gonna, remember I'm gonna go, the, the the main part I'm of the oranges. instruction. I'm gonna go with oranges. Okay, oranges. Yeah. George, would you like to? You went with oranges because you shared earlier that you about to be forty. Don't look forty. <laughs> you don't even look thirty. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, thank you, thank and you. the orange has a high abundance and potency of vitamin C, which leads to more youthful, shiny, glowing skin. And you understand that in your line of work, in your life, you care about the way you look because you like to take care of yourself. And the vitamin C is what gives you that morning glow. Yes, mm. I like mm. that. I like that. I took an apple a day it keeps the doctor away. And why would you want to keep a doctor away? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, let bring on a doctor. No, orange, orange, because you're an out of the box person. You're a person who marches to the beat of your own drummer. Yeah. You like doing things your way. And you don't like being compared to anything or anyone. Oranges. Like it. Oranges. All right, Tron, what you got for me next? The color purple or orange is the new black. The color purple. That's my favorite color and it's my favorite movie, so mm. gotta go with that. Mm. Gotta go with that. Now was that a play on words or are we talking movies? <laughs> I was I just I mean, threw that was out, both I threw out double <laughs> entendres. Wow. The color purple. Living your higher purpose, mm. searching for mm. deeper meanings. Mm. 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 Like this. Regal. Regal. Regal, you a queen. You Purple. special. Purple. Speaking you did that. Yeah. Yeah. Working for the government, you did that. Yeah. Army, you did that. Raise a young man, you did that. Yes. Act, she did that. Model, she did that. Open a new business with the mom, she doing it. I love Yo, is it Regal. Sound Regal. Are you <laughs> Regal. She <laughs> Regal, she royalty. Yes. Queen. Recognize. Yeah. Yeah. Queen vibes. Love it. Okay, uh... Because you are light skinned, you the color purple taught you how to be black. And here's the thing about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling the truth. Yo, you thought we were just we were throwing it out. The color purple was like the black movie. You watched it. You grew up. It was like ah, I'm blacker in this <laughs> white neighborhood. I'm I'm black now. This is who we are. I'm black. No, you're not. I'm black. And so the color purple and Whoopi Goldberg made you feel black. And then Oprah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. like Oprah. Yeah. And you also like powerful women, and that movie is full of powerful women, especially at a time where there were not a lot of movies about powerful black women yeah. who sustained and maintained. And also, you like the color purple because I've seen you in a purple bikini, and you look pretty good. So Thanks. I thought he was gonna keep it poetic until <laughs> well, just poetic. Oh, uh, okay, Visual. regal, regal, because you're doing it and you doing doing it, Bars. and then you've done 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 doing it. Love it. Is that better? Mine was a more bit George? more articulate. I don't that know was more Tehran. Mine was a little more common. Um, Super Bowl. By or common, Olympics. you meant the rapper. I just want to make common sure. Common, the rapper, yeah. yeah. Co- Super Bowl or Olympics? Mm. Which would you rather watch? Mm-hmm. The Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Bro. Oh, Ravens. Purple. Look, look at me. <laughs> she not dating no Olympic athlete. She dating football players, bro. No, you, I ain't dating no damn. Football she dating players. football players. You, no. NFL. You yeah. expressed and demonstrated mm-hmm. a high sense of indiv- individuality, and you carry that with you. But somewhere along the line in your life, you got brainwashed by football and Ravens and commercials and all the things, all these distractions, and I need to unbrainwash. No, okay. Uh, the real analysis is that you're a team player at the end of the day. Yeah, Although you've done a lot on your own, where the Super Bowl, really, there is no option for the eye, whereas in the Olympics, you could be an individual competitor. But really, what f- the Super Bowl cracks down to football, football cracks down to teamwork. Yeah. And you are, at your core, a team player, 
you like it when the people around you succeed. You like to help them succeed. And you like to build people around you who could one day help you grow as well. I love this. And you are a team player. That's why football. I'm loving this. What you got for me, Tom? Regal. Football players. <laughs> now, here's the thing. She's like, I don't date football players. Yes, you do. That body type, that's what she go for. I've dated them both. Okay. Uh, uh, them no but you've dated. I have dated Multiple. Them. Updated. Okay, so let's let's start there. See, everyone want to be different <laughs> when they're about to be forty. Like I know that's the old me. That is the old me. Nigga, I'm the old, old you is yesterday. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? That's yesterday. You can't just switch it over. Like that's still on your hoe facts. Like that still no. exists. Hilarious. Like it's there. Like I saw. Oh oh oh. There's the. Word. You can't. It's not new year, new me. Like that's not how credit works. You Do you understand stupid. what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't just. You have to pay the credit card. Like you can't just be like, well. I'm in a better situation now. Can't we just call it even? That's not how it works. Football players. Yes. That's why. And mm. a couple Ravens. I'm throwing that out there, too. A couple Ravens, Ravens. And football players. Only one Raven. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, but but I was there. Nonetheless. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that's son. that's the real read. Oh, oh, real she's read. done. What else we got today? Let's, get, let's, done. let's do a crush, right? So crush. what we do is we like, we like asking you a specific type of crush where you find one. And you say, this is your crush because it tells us a lot about who you are. And this week's is obvious. Uh, it's Black History Month crush. It is Black History Month. Okay. It's your Black History crush. So who's my crush? Yeah, your Black History crush. Idris Elba. Idris Elba? Uh, okay. That, yeah. Let's 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 be a little more Black History. A little <laughs> bit do, more Black History. Not just black. Black. Like modern, not just black. modern black. black. Like, like, like we're talking like Martin Luther King, oh, <laughs> George oh, Washington black Carver. History. Okay. Yeah. A black History. Okay. Black historical crush. Ooh, a black historical crush. Yo, she didn't even wait, Idris Alba. But you oh, know, I know. You I've done some black crush. players. You said black, black crush. Black I, I just think, I was history. thinking you were just going to, I, I thought crush. you were trying to insinuate that he should be black because it's Black History oh, no, Month. That's what I meant. He should you meant. be, regardless. Well, I know, but now you want me to black go with Black History. history. Yeah. Um, you know who I thought was kind of cute? Frankie Lyman. Mm. That's a black Frankie history. Lyman Frankie Lyman. Cutie. Frankie Lyman played all those girls. <laughs> like they have yeah, a I movie. Know he was a player. That's how about, he was probably super he was, fun. Listen, you know they mean? have a movie about how he played different <laughs> women and had all these different women show up to his funeral thinking they were. I know. They were all his yeah. wives. They were all his wives. It was crazy. Yo, that was that was a good thing. Was, yeah. Okay, let's um we also do a popping or stopping. Popping or stopping. Which means keep doing it. And stopping means we need to stop. Uh, Gucci and Prada. Popping or stopping. I'm a Gucci fan, so I'm going to have to pop it. So you don't know about the recent controversy? I do know about the recent and you controversy. Still but did you see the reach? Even though the recent controversy, they did have a black sweater and a white sweater. So did you see that? They didn't just make one black sweater. Oh, it doesn't you matter. Know I didn't know so, that. I, I knew that, okay, and I still, so, it doesn't matter because you knew. They knew what they were yeah, doing. Yeah, I, I, but that goes back to that whole thing about the H&M thing with the monkey sweater, right? Were you offended by that? You, and I, I was offended by the fact that that got put out, yes. Okay, let me tell you why I wasn't offended by that. Yeah. Because I had a son, when or I have a son, and when he was like five, I actually put him in a whole monkey costume. Yeah. So I felt but like... That's, but, and I'll say why that's okay. Because A, you're a person of color, and second of all, that's your son. So you calling your kid, like, you're like, come, you little monkey, get over yeah, here. Yeah, I did. But what if I a white like, guy was like, monkey. hey, you little monkey, get over here. <laughs> How would you feel about that? I mean, that? if he was in a little monkey costume and he said, oh, no, no, come no. here, you little monkey, no, I would he, think he that talking he'd be without saying, the monkey Yo, costume. this yeah, is, well, this no, is yeah, coolest monkey offensive. in the jungle. Listen, they're in London. There's 90 white kids. Right, there's 99 white kids and one black kid in the, yeah, all I the H&M ads, and they decided a... they didn't make a. That's that's what makes it worse. They didn't make a conscious decision. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't they think they weren't, did. And Prada probably didn't, and neither did Gucci. They weren't aware of what they were doing. What happened was that they're unaware of it, and yeah, that's what makes yes. it worse. Because there's no black people in those rooms. I agree with you. There are no you. black designers. There are no people of color even helping or 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 advising on decisions. And that's what the problem is: I agree. is that they're not aware. I agree. And every time we give them the, our dollar, we vote in support and confidence well, of their brand. Was and Gucci products. aware of the blackface? Uh, Gucci knows about blackface. Everyone knows about blackface. Like See? I said, there's so many people but in they those just, type of businesses, and they, they're, no, they're not they're, all babysitting they're each other. Unaware. So somebody made that decision. No, 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 to say no. We're gonna make they black babysit and each other, face. and I'm gonna tell you why. How you know that? Because you've never seen them do anything that's uh, 
that's specifically anti-white in a lot of ways. You don't see them coming out with KKK hoodies and yeah, going, this is, this is I a agree. Gucci brand. Katie Perry's going through the same thing right now. They just pulled all her shoes because she's got the black exactly, and white the black, shoes. The black but face then I was looking shoes. at it, it was like they both got, they just happened to be that one's black and one's white, but they got the red lips and they got the, the red eyes. The red lip yeah. is based so on a menstrual thing. So now they're doing both the chalk face and the black yes. face. And here's the thing, even though racism is a very Western c- concept, it's globalization it that allows for it everyone is. to be aware of it. Yeah. So people know what they're doing. Yeah, they I know agree. what they're saying. So when people in India use the word nigga, they didn't invent the word nigga. They heard it in a rap song and now they're repeating it. Right. That's part of globalization. Right. However, I'm sorry, but historically speaking, what happens is when you allow these slippery slope slides, we're the ones that get crushed yeah. and the avalanche falls on but, us. But to be clear... Is it worse to know or not know? It's worse not to know. It's worse not to know. Yeah, because if you know something, you can change it. If you don't know something, then it's so, so ingrained so in who you are, to, you're unaware of it. It would be it. worse for them to know that this is going to offend a specific group of people and still have the and audacity it, to put it out have less of versus a problem. someone not knowing yeah, I would have and less not of a problem. having malintent. 100%. That's interesting. I'll tell you how I know. Because you know who I'm afraid of in this country when I when I say racist? It's not the people in, in the KKK. I know who they are. It's the it's Becky in, in Human Resources that's like, Jamal, no, we're just not going to hire that yeah, one. Yeah, I agree. That's the person who's the most but dangerous. That, that's knowing. No, because you're, you're doing you're it unaware. You're judging someone on the name. You're doing it unaware. You're no, just you're so aware. ingrained. You're not. You're aware it, you're if doing you see it a resume. So like, with, with, you're doing it so callously, you're unaware of doing it. You just don't even realize you're doing it. It's something that's just so natural to you, you don't even know that you're doing it. And it's subtle. It's subconscious. And that's what the problem is. It's when it's ingrained inside but, who you are. But wouldn't it be different if you're unaware of a historical event versus simply not taking the time, unaware of what you're doing? actually doing you're, you're talking about not knowing that's different like than not knowing yeah, i feel like with the so, history of that whole thing who does who the fact that people can say that they don't know at this point in 2019 about that is ignorance in itself because who doesn't know about that it, you know it's what not, I'm listen it's about being unaware it's not about knowledge it's about unawareness but how can someone so not the concept be aware? is i i'm giving the benefit of the doubt of people not being aware because i see a lot of white privilege and there's a lot of white people going i don't understand what the problem is because they're simply unaware it's not like they they understand it and they're denying if you understand something you can fix it if i met a guy or if i met a girl and she was like being being a bitch and is different than if she's just a bitch if a guy is just being an asshole it's very different than if he's just an asshole so much of an asshole that he's unaware that he's actually being an asshole and how does you can that, never fix that how does that pair well because i like the differentiation you made let's repeat it or clear it up again for our listeners difference between not knowing and being unaware because when you not know something it's it's a, a piece of information right mm-hmm. so when you don't know something let's say you meet someone from china and they simply just don't know well that's not their fault they are unaware they don't have that knowledge They're, they don't know the knowledge right so but being unaware is the knowledge is prevalent it's around you you've chosen not to to look at it you might have heard gone, it you might have seen an article but not not even on you've it. just decided it's unimportant to you and you still act on something because you're unaware that you're even doing it wrong they were probably thinking they're being socially responsible when they did that they were like this is a great trend yeah, I agree. I they, agree. they, the knowledge is there. We kind, we, when you pull up a picture of a menstrual or bojangle and it's the exact same imagery, then you knew that imagery existed. You were just unaware that it's offensive. Yeah, I agree. That's yeah, what's yeah, dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Unaware or didn't yeah. know. That's where I'm getting lost in this. Did they know? It of would, course they knew. It, where so, did they get so that image from? Knew. Where did that image come from? So if you knew that. This is, or if actual the knowledge is around taken, you, it's not about if you knew or not. The knowledge is is around you. It is simply See, open your eyes and look around. That's knowledge. Th- that's where I'm coming in. And I'm saying there's no way that they knew and still put it out. That's just crazy to me. I, of course they. That's of course cr- they. That's insane not, to me. Where did they get that image from? Where did they get the image of to do that to begin with? So so they didn't just invent it themselves. It wasn't parallel thought. So, years so you're later. saying they deliberately did it? Then they knew what the design was. And they were like, oh, yeah, so this looks very cool. Let's put this on people. So it'll be cool. Yeah, it'll be no risque. one's questioning, like, well, this kind of... Yeah. This is like, offensive. Yeah. Well, yeah. This could be right. offensive so, to so people. So if they knew, then I'm no longer on the side. Or I, I didn't pick a side. But, but the it knowledge would be hard. exists. 
it would be hard for me to defend Gucci if they knew it's, new. The like, you know what I mean? And the knowledge still put exists. It out. The knowledge exists. Yeah, because like I said, it's 2019. How did they not know? know that. Think Black about face. this. The only way you did not know is if you literally did not have a single black designer or a single black person I or a person no, of we, color we, we who was in the room to it. even bring yeah, it up. Say, no, we, we can't do this. You have right, none right. on your board. You have none yeah, in your right. executive level. You have none in your even upper management level wow. who would have seen that and been like, this is not okay. I agree. I agree. So H&M Mr. West has thing. a point and he's out there yelling and shouting. hundred percent. People don't realize that a lot of things he says, if you actually look deeper into what mm-hmm. he's saying, actually makes sense. It's just he says it. In the most inarticulate possible <laughs> right. crazy way you can. It's right. actually articulate, you're just yelling, maybe not the most logical. You're yelling, <laughs> you're yelling outside on the soapbox and not explaining yeah, what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. However, those rooms literally have no black design to the point where Virgil Abloh is the guy. Yeah, yeah. Dapper is Don guy, is right. number two. Like you're looking at the specific people. And when it comes to these brands, we don't need your brand. Your mm-hmm. brand needs us. You need our $1.2 trillion worth of buying power in the black community in the United States. That's what you need. We don't need your brand. We make your brands f- famous. But, Gucci Man made your brand famous. So, yeah. At Soulja Boy, I saw four people with Gucci headbands the week I after Soulja Boy. I one because I saw one on sale for twenty four ninety nine. dollars I mean? of But then he switched, he switched to Fendi or something. But he he know, he, he, even he knew not to support He's Gucci done. after Crazy. that. It's, listen, racism, whether it's prevalent or not, whether it's subconscious or a conscious decision, is something where you have to be aware of it. And when it's a conscious decision, at least you can rectify that. So, but when it's subconscious... That's the most dangerous. So, so to add to it, now the black consumers who know now and are willingly buying, buying Gucci, are they in the wrong, Tehran? They can be in the wrong or not. It's a personal decision. So if you're saying, I understand, except it's not that big enough a deal. Such as Floyd to- Mayweather was just seen outside of Gucci and sure. bought out and the if store. He makes, if he makes a decision, he that's makes a decision. decision. That's right. his personal right. decision. Right. That's, the, that's, the, that's the problem with the minority situation. And when I say minority, you can actually be a majority of people. It's just a minority in power, right? So when you look at one Muslim and say, well, then you're not a good Muslim because you did X, Y, Z, then... How come you don't say the same thing to Christians? How come no one's questioning why Christian rappers rap about booty and, and asses, but if a Muslim rapper did it, it'd be the same thing? You can't take an example of one person and be like, you are the right. weight of the shoulder right, of right, everyone right. Uh, everyone that consumes so, your so Gucci race culture at this more at fault because they're in a place of authority because they're making the products Gucci, they're selling. Gucci makes the trend. The people who make the trends, they are programming us, right? How do you know? Because if commercials didn't work, we wouldn't have commercials. Commercials work. Branding works. They pay people millions of dollars to wear their stuff, knowing that I would wear their stuff as that person wears it. So they know what they're doing. They're influencing. Even aside from it being blackface, like, it doesn't even, it's not even good looking to me. Right, it wasn't good looking, right. It wasn't good looking. Just, yeah, actually, I thought it was really cool when I saw the lady wearing it. I was like, oh, shit, that's popping, you racist bitch. I like, I knew right. it, was, it looked cool. Like, you could be racist. Some racist things look cool as fuck. Like, I've seen Make America Great Again hats. Yo, that shit's popping. Like, if yo, people were getting punched the for wearing it. Layout. Yo, it's just such right. a good font. Not right. the message. but So, the- anyway, Gucci or Prada, you're saying popping, but I got to go with the stopping on that. Because just because. And, by the way, I bought the Gucci bag way before. Anyway. <laughs> right, I mean, I'm not. Uh, I probably won't support Gucci from this point I'm not going to I'm not going to throw away I'm my not, stuff. I have Gucci so I'm not you know going to not wear my We should have probably not, you know, we should have probably ban- we should have boycotted it when it was $800 a belt. <laughs> right, I'm going to stick to guess. Our know. question from a listener each week we get a question from a listener. Okay. Which we select at random. So please do not email us any more. Why haven't you read our question? Yeah, it is question. randomly email. selected. And how can they email us? Imperfectgshow at gmail.com. And this week's question is from I'll be sure. I'll, I'll, I'll see what you oh, did I thought, there. I thought you were saying I'll be sure. No, it's I'll, I'll, be I'll sure. see what they did I'll there. I'll be sure. Okay. Oh, this is very interesting. My boyfriend is black and I am white. When we go to certain places, people give us stares. When I met his family, I did not feel as welcomed. Do you think what we are doing is wrong? No, I don't think what they're doing is wrong. I mean, if their love is love, you know what I'm saying? And if love has no color, that's what I believe. But, I mean, that's just going to be a hard pill to swallow, especially not so much about what other people think, but especially the family. That's got to be hard. So that's just... Um, I don't know. You guess I don't know. Family's hard to just sway, you know, especially if you have an all-black family and 
you bring somebody that's not black, I mean, especially like, because that becomes issues of like, does the mother feel like she isn't good enough? Does the aunties feel like they're good, not good enough? Because well, how come you didn't choose someone black hmm. when I'm black? You know what I mean? I, I, I agree with you there. You got to be aware of the sentiment of the family and you have to do your research. And by research, I mean speaking to them and opening up a communication and trying to better understand why there is this wall. What are the implications, such as you just said, you know, the, the women in the family feeling, oh, are, are we not yeah. good enough for you to pursue it? And understand why they just feel that understand. way. Yeah, right. Understand, right. especially right. this is a perfect time, Black History Month, understand what happened in history to make them feel that way. Right. Understand how they have empowered themselves as a community and respect that. And once you can achieve that, show them that you're not about that um, imagery or the people who, who may have prevented them in throughout history and that you're there to carry the olive branch and understand. And if that doesn't win them over, if mm. that happens not that win them over, then yeah. you need to decide, yeah. is this relationship something I want to grow into and marry into, whether we like it or not? When you get married, you marry the family. Yo. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna have to deal truth. with them, yeah. especially if you've got kids and you need a babysitter and then the babysitting prices right. are way too high, daycare right. is too high. You're going to have to deal with that family. So at least I think you're actually in a position of power right now to make a change and show that family that you're just not another one of those right. people right. or a roadblock. Right. I come from a multicultural family. My mom is Korean and black, but she's born and raised in Korea. And then my dad is West Indian. So interesting. it's, it's um, you know, and it's like so interesting because my mother's her first Detroit. language is Korean when she first mm -hmm. moved here. And I remember when I started dating 15, mm -hmm. like I was dating a black guy. My mom was like, well, why are you? I don't want you dating this black guy. I want you to date this Korean. Wow. My mom's friends, Dana, Dana. Um, but it was just very interesting. I grew up culturally in a black household, so I tend to date. I've dated white men. I've mm -hmm. dated men outside my race, mm -hmm. but I tend to date more African American because I just feel like I relate more. Did, to Did that, you so. feel a resistance uh, from the black side of your family when you did not date black um, men? No, because like I said, because basically the only family that was Korean is my mom's family was in I Korea. Got so you. my mom, I never, I didn't grow up in a Korean household. I grew mm -hmm. up in a black household, basically, right? So. Um, but it's just, like I said, the same thing. If I ever dated outside my race, I would, if my family had a problem with it, I would totally try to get them to understand where my thinking is, why I love this person so much. Because then, again, if they're going to be like, we don't bring this woman in here, then you're the racist, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. Interesting. You know. um, what George said, the values, the principles working. Sounds like a lot of work to fuck, nigga. Okay, let me explain <laughs> I something. You were agreeing really. with me for a second, Don't touch man. Me. Listen, let me explain something to you, okay? The, first of all, first of all, bruh, you knew better than take her home. Like, you knew what was gonna happen. You took her home to feel this type of way. Like, you did it on like, purpose. Like, how long was you dating you knew her? Like, for real. Like, I need to know more information. Yeah, first of all, more is he the black guy that dates white girls? Because I think that's wrong. You should not be the black guy that's like, I did mm, white girls, and you treat white women better than black women. Like, white women are so much better. Love is love, I agree, with, with Shonda, where she's like, love is love. Love has no color. And if you meet a woman who happens to be white and you happen to fall in love, that's great. But if you're like the I chase white women, I chase white women person, or or you knew what it was and you brought her home and you're not even trying to like yeah, keep her, bruh. Yeah, that's it. You straight set yourself bruh. up. Like, you, yo, right. you knew what right. it was. Prepper, like, bro. you knew what it was. Right. But, and then second of all, why is she meeting your family anyway? Right. Like, why is she meeting mom? Like, you know what it is. Like, you know. Maybe it was a test. Maybe you it was know a test. what it is, it right? Test, right? So, so you better have got, like trapped and gotten pregnant because real talk, first of all, you're done. Second of all, look, no offense, you're done. Is it done? You think it's done? No, 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 no. He might, but it's like unless he really lo like I'll tell you one thing Barbara or whatever your name is I'm gonna tell you one I'd thing be sure I'm gonna tell you one thing uh if he does continue this relationship and marry you he loves you my brother exclusively dates Asian <laughs> okay, girls so real talk yeah. listen I have a brother you know if your family I have a brother yeah. the look race, and it still saying? comes up it's a conversation but he's dated and when I say exclusively real talk he's only dated two girls and both happen to have been Asian, Asian. but full Asian full, still like Asian Asian, Asian, yeah. Like, yeah. Asian yeah. like Asian right. like Asian like <laughs> Asian like <laughs> Asian <laughs> you know yeah. I mean I'm not even gonna try to speculate what kind of Asian but they're Asian right right sure so my brother really, and, and, and you know, it's it's come up, it's come up in a conversation. And my family's very open and mixed. Yeah. However, and my sisters date white guys. I mean, it's not like a 
It's not yeah. specific, but it comes up. It is a conversation. Yeah. And when I say conversation, it's not even a negative conversation. Right, it's, just a conversation. it's not even like a perfect, talk. Perfect, perfect. It's more of a, a more of a commentary that it gets made right. every time. There, when 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 he's like, oh, what's what's this food called? And we're like, yeah, yeah. The Asian shit. White. <laughs> No, nah, white, white devil. Like we're like, oh, we're like, well, it's called Persian food. You, you white idiot. Like it comes up. Oh, when they come and ask yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, when God, they God, come God, up, God. It's like. Then, so is it is it easier? Let's say like average black household. Is it easier to be white or is it easier to be like Latino? Or Latino. And I'll tell you, Puff made that popular. When Puff dated J Lo, uh, that became it because back then West Side Story was between the white guy and the Puerto Rican girl. Yeah. In real life, it would have been between the Puerto Rican girl and a black guy, or yeah. the Dominican girl and a black guy. And that was like real in New York. That was like a real thing for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still yeah, like like lot, it's still yeah. a big deal. Still, but Dominican now it's like people kind of understand. It's like more common. Yeah. But back then it was like. Like, we'll kill you. You're dating my sister, Jeez. Negro. Like, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to say this. In the black community, it's um, it, it's way more acceptable to date someone outside your race. Other communities, if they, if, if a Korean community was like, we want you to date a, a Korean, or a Jewish community was like, we want you to date someone who's Jewish, right. that'd be, you no one what? wants right. you to date. But yeah. black community, it's like, right. it's open. Yeah, we want everyone. We're so accepting. Let's think about the flip side. Right. It's harder to be black i'd imagine then try and date outside of your race yeah be a black guy going to a white household actually there's this girl uh that i'm friends with and she's white 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 right with a white white family in orange county like a wealthy white, white, and she's yeah. dating like a nigga like listen <laughs> he's a nigga he's a rapper producer oh. and she took him home from for christmas and they were accepting and stuff but i know in their hearts they, they feel like, some type oh. of way like he's He's just corrupting our dog. Not even, enough, right? and you know what it is? Right. It's not even, <laughs> it's not always, and a lot of people take racism as anytime it's about color. It's not always about color. It's also about presentation and who you are. Yeah. Like, yeah. way yeah. more parents yeah. Yeah. are accepting yeah. of Barack Obama black yeah. than they are of Gucci oh, man yeah, black. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, my yeah, family yeah, wouldn't yeah. be accepting of Gucci man black. Yeah. Oh, my family wouldn't be either. Like, exactly. I would, I would never take home, no, no, no. Like, I'm very funny about even taking men home to meet my yeah, mother. Of like, course. it's. No, because my mom is so judgmental. A hundred percent. Your mom would love me, by the way. Your mom would love me. Your mom would love me. Not the color of your skin. I didn't say those words. My it's mom, black she's history Korean month. Today. My mom is Korean, and she's got very, you know, opinionated opinions mm. about the type of men that she mm -hmm. feels. I have two sisters. We have no brothers, and she's very judgmental about all the men that we come, we bring home. I don't even bother anymore. You know what I mean? Unless it's real, real. <laughs> because that's, I mean, that's real. real. Yeah. And, 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 and I don't think there's anything wrong with that because in the end of the day, if you got a daughter or you got a son, whether they black or white or whatever, you want to make sure that their future is going to be good. So why would you want some nigga coming home with tattoos and shit? What kind of what what is their life about to be? You know what I'm saying? I mean, blue face, baby. All right. <laughs> right. Sharing is caring. Here's the thing. We all know sharing secrets is the best way to have people know about you. Today's sharing is caring. Secret is worst place you ever met a person you ended up hooking up with? Whoa. I met a guy, this guy I was dating, and I met him on a date with another guy. Would that, that be something that, kind that, of like? Yeah, that counts. Exactly. And I, like, when we, when I, it's actually really, that's a true story. And then when I would, people would be like, well, how'd you guys meet? I would never say, like, that I met exactly. on a date with Exactly. That's what else. I'm saying. Yeah, You're ashamed yeah, yeah, yeah. of. So you were with, and he wasn't on a date with another guy. You were on a date with another guy. I was on guy. a date with another guy. We were, they and were friends. And we ended up going to a restaurant in Hollywood, and, like, we just... The date was the date I was on the date with wasn't really a date. It was you were a business, business meeting, but he was like he made it. Into I got he thing. told you it was a date. It was a business meeting. I was no. trying to get up to have him do. A I was gonna have him try to host the show that I was trying to no. create. And so he was like, "Cool, let's go have dinner." And we no. started talking about. It. And he was like, "Actually, this is the date. You're going you to know this party with me after." And I was yeah, like, "Yeah, it's a." It, listen, oh, he was demanding. No, <laughs> he was a no. demanding. You know why? A lot that conversation is a phone call, my nigga. <laughs> like that's not dinner. If, no, if no, she, I was friends. She, so hold on, cool. stop. <laughs> she, you wanted him to host a show that you were producing, correct? That I was trying to so yeah, put together. He took you out to dinner so you can get him to work on a show you're working. That's not how business no, meetings no, work. No, 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 no. I, that wasn't. That would be like that me was... wanting me wanting Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Steven Spielberg okay. wants me in a movie, mm -hmm. so I fly him to me and beg him to be on a. Then he didn't want me on a movie. You wanted him. 
No, so you should have been the one to taking him on to show. dinner and be like, exactly. No, it wasn't but about taking the dinner. He, dinner. We were just going to go to dinner. He agreed to pay, but uh, I could have paid my uh, own dinner. Uh, I was, that uh, was, she wanted. That she was, was reaching was for Where'd you go? Where'd you go to dinner? We ended up going to Castaway in Burbank. You're done. She was so reaching. You're done. you're done. You know she what? That's not business meeting. Purse. Dinner. No. But that's we're friends, too, so it's not like somebody just randomly. The big question, did he feel some type of way about the friend? Yes. Wait, so, no, hold on. She said, look, look at the new know. truth. Look at the new truth. Look oh, he didn't truth. know. Now he knows. He now. knows. We he on knows radio. Now. No, he knew. He knew. He, he found out. He found out. <laughs> look, he never found out. No. He never oh, found out. He better not listen <laughs> he, to he this. He knows. Of course he knows. Bruh, I think every, expected it, but he, nothing was confirmed. Exactly. Right. See, that's what girl. That's what I'm saying. Girls <laughs> use this. Girls are all lawyers. This plausible deniability. No, no. I. <laughs> I am not aware. I will not answer the question is on the grounds Gucci-ing? that it may or may is not be. Is she Gucciing the situation? Yeah, 100%. She's Gucciing. We were unaware. I was unaware. Okay, let's get to our topic. Our topic this week is, and it's something about availability, and this is the actual question, and perfect tie into your situation. Okay. Availability. As men, how are we supposed to know that a woman is available and that they are interested in us? I think just the way that the like how I am with men is like I, I'm straight up like what what are we doing you know what I mean like straight up like what are you looking for and I feel like if you go out with somebody you should want to know like if you go on a date with somebody let's you start on a date it's, it's not I don't think it's that big of a deal to have a conversation with the person that you're with is like hey mm. obviously there's interest because you guys have made a plan to go on the date right but then like just what are you doing I mean I'm not saying you guys are talking about what your future is going to be but are you dating anybody so what's your situation are you talking to anybody you know what I'm saying so that just once that's knocked out it's like I'm not talking to nobody or I'm not dealing with nobody then it could it, I don't think you should talk about that right first off that so then let's say the girl likes him and the date goes well okay it'll initiate a second date and I okay. feel like at the, if the girl or the guy has agreed to go on the second date, there's obviously more interest. And then I think it should be starting to be like, okay, because I don't think you should ever just expect to be dating somebody. Is, right it, an, is it an obligation to disclose? I mean, I don't feel like it's an obligation, but mm. I feel like if you, are, if you like, I'm cool. I'm, I'm like one of the most coolest chicks you'll probably ever meet. Like, I'll be real with you. Like, hey, I'm dating other, I'm dating. Like I'm single and I'm dating right now. That's that's what my situation. Is that what you're right? doing right now? You're single. No, and I'm dating? single. I'm not dating anybody right now. Mm. But I'm just saying, like, if that was my case, like, which was probably like before the new year, I was dating. So I was dating more than one person, right? So I how let, does that work, by the way? And I, I need clarification because when you're dating more than one person, are you also have sexual uh, interactions with I more was, than one person? Yeah, I mean, some women aren't, but I was. And yeah. both yeah. sides are aware. And is yeah, that okay? Yeah, because yeah, they didn't want no commitment. And that was cool with me because I didn't want no commitment. So it's like in the end of the day, we both are getting what we want out of it. I, see, they see, were cool hanging out. Ding, ding, ding. More people, and and here's my theory. <laughs> George, okay, George, no, no, here's my George, theory. George, I'm, I'm going to say. George, this is I'm going to <laughs> say. I know, I'm I'm like, I know you're trying to save me. George? I know you're trying to say. More people need to learn how to communicate. And that's what I'm saying. Their their that's wants and because desires. There's no issues. And in the, the and the problem is, I feel not enough people are bold enough to do what you did and say, "Hey, I just want to date. Okay, I so don't want commitment." And because not enough people are bold enough to say it, you get, they end up problems. cheating. They there's end up problems. having problems. There becomes Let's problems. Get because society the doesn't really question. accept You're right. that. A lot of questions. Okay. Yeah. Would you be okay dating someone that was dating other people, George? Is there is there a mutual understanding there? You can date other people too, and we're both dating, and and it's not my main. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's, your main. It's not your main. Obviously, it's, your it's not your main. I mean, it's I, not your main. It's not your main. Then what does it matter? Yeah, she's, she's having intercourse with other people. What does it matter? If and it's then not she's your like, main, though, right? She's your main like is hooking up with girl, people right? right before she meet up with you, but she doesn't. No, she can't do it right before. Know, but you don't she know. She can't the do it right before. You don't know. You gotta oh, let. Like, you gotta. You gotta. What's the time frame? It gotta be twenty-four hours. It gotta be twenty-four hours. But I'm saying, let's say me and you on a date, right? We have this conversation, and I'm like, hey, I'm dating, and you say you're dating. Like I said, if if you agree that that's cool, we'll initiate a second date. And obviously, yeah. right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Would you, would you like to go on a business? <laughs> no, no, hold on. I'm going to play. I'm going to go on a I, 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 I have show, bro. I'm going to play show. devil's advocate, right? The, there, is a, there is an X factor here. So you got this agreement now. And now one of y'all catches feelings. Okay, so then I feel like at that point when one of y'all catches feelings... Then it needs to be communicated, and then that then. But that never works out, out well. I mean, well, it might because let's say, like I said, if 
uh, when I was kicking, I was only kicking it with two people, and I don't know who you, you know, yeah. either one were kicking it with, right? So, but I wasn't trying to catch nobody's feelings. I don't right? think I would be able to build off that because I'm always going to have that memory. Yeah, while we were talking, while we were cuddling after Netflix, you were going over to but somebody you were doing else. The same thing, but Listen, you were doing the same thing. Yeah, but but I would. But Yo, I'm just we're saying watching the show. I'm not saying that, that, that we're on this TV show yeah. where we talk about another TV show. Okay, so we do an after show with yeah. CW yeah. on, on Shout Roswell, out after Buzz. Roswell, New Mexico. Yeah. Okay. In 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 the show, the girl is in love with one dude, and then she hooks up with that dude, and then right after the other dude come in. And then but not if she's in love with like much. if you start to fall in hey, love but with she someone, not, you can't be fucking with nobody else. But she, you know I mean, saying? hey, I don't judge people's actions. I don't. But, but also you said, but I was doing the same thing. So I would imagine that the woman I'm dating now won't be able to take me as seriously, knowing that. I mean, it's yeah, the double. It's a double sided story. Because, yeah, because so I thing. feel so, if you were sad, no, if you, were, you know what it is. Women, honestly, honestly, and unfortunately, we have programmed our women to deal with it, and not our men. Which is why yeah, women then, are like way said, more likely to take a, a guy like back well, from who cheating. Who wants to do the same thing? And then niggas no. be like, no, no, you ain't doing that. Like, fuck that. You're uh, doing it, though. Look, That's what I'm saying. Like, you know I, I mean? need to find these women because I've been, like, written off the history books for not you complimenting know the, an outfit. I know, but you know all these women. That's I, why these I songs make, come out. Like, I, I make small mistakes, not even cheating. In the past, I've made small mistakes where... I missed the beat on something, and yeah. I was written off, blocked, never followed again, text not answered. So I people mean, get ruthless, Tyrone. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't communicated <laughs> there that, you know, maybe she was thinking you were just single the whole time or something. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So, like, so outside of it being an obligation and outside of it working or not working, do you think that society, as of now, in your current space, uh, and maybe not even L.A., let's talk Maryland right now because yeah. Maryland's a very near and dear place to me. Yeah. Would is that it? yeah it is. Would that be accepted in Maryland? They're a little less I mean, loose I think that Cali. you know, I mean like like yeah, I guess you're right. Compared to LA, the dating scene in LA is probably different to other places because mm-hmm. like I said, everybody are trying to be a player, you know right. what I'm saying, or whatever. But um I just feel like in the end of the day, it just needs to be good communication between both because sometimes when you get into some situation and then your expectations are more than what you think it is without the communication, that always becomes a problem. Right. Why eliminate but, that problem? Just say, hey, let's just kick it. Let's just hang out. Do, the more, do, do obviously, you, you know, do you feel change. you as a mother in society. I might society, say that to my wife, though. Let's hang you, out, kick it. I don't know. I don't even know you. You, like you as a mother in society, do you feel that you get judged when you date multiple people by family, by friends? Um, no, I mean, I, mean, I had, my one friend was like, well, Shonda, I don't understand why you just don't find one guy and settle down. That's what my friend said to me. And sure. I was like, that's not what I want to do. Did so it feel judgy or did it feel supportive? I mean, of course it's judgy, especially because I'm a female. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's always like, uh, uh, but why can't I do what? I'm not, like I said, I'm not out here fucking a whole bunch of niggas like the You're niggas doing what doing, you want, right? Sure. Let's but bring, I'm happy. I'm let's happy bring it about what I'm doing. Let's like, bring it back to the top. Availability. How do you know if a woman's available? I think you could just ask if a woman's available. Are you single? Are you dating? You got a boyfriend? You know what I so mean? So how does that come up? Because that's actually a very awkward question to ask someone. I mean, I think, well, it if you guys sometimes... went on the date, first of all, I'm sure there was some type of conversation with, uh, with, before the date was like, you want to go out. If the girl's like, I know I can't because I got a boyfriend, that's number one. Right? What she if she's like, yeah, I know I can because it's a business meeting? Well, I mean, if she's single, it doesn't matter. It's a business meeting. Mm-hmm. I, the person Would you have gone like, on the same business meeting if you were in a relationship? Yes, because I, in my okay, mind, it so, was a business say, meeting. See, when he girls made do that, it something else. they don't look. That's when they when they overdo the lie. No, they do no, the lie. It was Listen, a business so, meeting. So, 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 my question is, that question: Are you seeing someone? When do you ask that question? Like I said, I think in the beginning, before the date is even arranged, there's gotta you. No one's gonna go out with somebody. Like, there's women out here, men out here who say, "I can't do that. I'm, I got a boyfriend or girl." Would, what are girl. some signs that? men should pick up on to know that you are available what are the signs that i'm available well yeah. flirtiness i think you know but i mean taken to an extent you know what I mean? but some guys take unfortunately take niceness as flirtiness. yeah i agree i definitely agree but i like i said in the end of the day i feel like women that they have problems too vocally if they're happy in their relationship they're why would they not be so quick to say i got a boyfriend or i got right. a husband or i got a man if you're happy, you know what I mean. Now, if you're yeah. you're playing the field because you're not happy at home, and then you fucked up because okay, just leave the man you're with and just start over. And as far as as far as the signs to know if a girl likes you, let's go through these signs. 
Oh yeah, it's, you you know when a girl likes you. You don't. How do guys don't, not don't know? Do that? We've been trying to don't figure it out hey, for two for, decades. For girls who group up and it takes twenty of them to find out what the status of a guy is, don't tell us right. we should know. We don't know. We're telling you we don't we, know. I We're really don't point know. Point blank and telling you. I'm take, and you're still telling us I'm we should. Let me give you a, a scenario. Like, further. let's say we met at a bar. How, met, how would you then, know I liked you? If yeah. I, you bought me a drink and I stayed there and had a conversation with you. Okay, Obviously, and then I'm what? interested, and then, right? Okay, that's interested. Right. And then but what that's about the happened next day? before, and then I asked for the number. It's like, I got to go. Uh, and or, she don't like or, you. Then. She ain't interested. Or this so happens. She just wanted a drink. Or this happens. Yeah. You go out with the girl, have a great night. She goes home and then she ghosts you the next day. Then why'd she, you, why'd well, you touch me well, when you said that? You know why? It's, it's Greg on that, Corey. Sometimes Greg Corey. There's two things on that. Sometimes <laughs> yeah, that's part of the woman's Carrie. game to try to see if the guy is interested because you know, like you know, like sometimes you let's say you go on a date with the, like I go on a date Whoa. with you, but then I don't call you the next day. In my mind, I'm like, well, let me see if he really liked me. Is he gonna text me? I don't want to text him. first. Just to clarify, use me as the example, not too yeah, much. Yeah, use you as the okay. example. Okay, you okay, so, like let's say we went on a date, we had a great time, and the next morning I'm like, I want to text him, but let me see if he likes me oh. so i don't text you oh so but then we, you don't text me so we might not catch that cue right, but you might not sides, be ghosting on both sides. us i think on both sides i think guys play that game too you know what i mean so so after like after that first date do we follow up immediately i don't know like i said that that becomes the whole thirst thing like the girl might not want to just text you right thing in the morning because she don't want to seem too thirsty but then the guy might not want to do that's either. a lot of so games like, but like i know it's a lot of games I'm just it's trying to games. hit it's games because you know in the <laughs> You're end of the day her. Nah, people get, like, people are so that's virgin the relationships they gotta test it you know what i'm saying so like i would maybe wait till noon maybe a little bit noon. after noon. i like noon sure. noon feels then good like hey like hey hey what are you doing noon is when i like, get my latte if i text you back hey what are you doing afternoon then i'm, I'm probably like you I'm like, okay let me help you out let me help all women out there okay if a guy uh asks for your number and then contacts you He's trying to fuck. And here's the thing about that. Girls got to understand that trying to fuck, it, it evolves into I like you. Yeah, of course. It evolves course. into I like you. With girls, it's I like you evolves into, evolves into I'm trying to fuck. But with guys, I'm trying to fuck evolves yeah, into I, yeah, I like I, you. I can see that. I can see that. And, and that was a, kind of profound. I don't know if I agree with this. That's exactly. really I, I agree, but it's women profound. think that it's way too. So. That's a real thing. You know that's I mean? a real thing. Like, when are you the most interested in the girl is in the beginning. So if she <laughs> asks for my number, is she... She's interested. She, like she wants to keep if a girl, But okay, so now... Because so that's now happened. We get the yeah, text back. What about in person? How do you know? Is it like touching? Is it... She's I mean, I don't know what I would say about touching because some women might not want to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Because then the, the guy might get the wrong impression. Like, oh, she's real touchy-feely. You know what yeah. I'm like saying? Like then touching like this. Like I, a gentle, like, ah, ha, 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 Can you do that again? Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> not don't. Like that, yo, not like yeah, that, Teron. Not like that. Yeah, that, that was, <laughs> no, likes, I mean, you know, like, I'm a hugger. Like, so I always, like, hugger? if I, like, like, at the end of the night, I'll probably hug you if I like you. You know what I mean? Mm, and, like, you might vibe. get a kiss if I really like you. You mm. know what I'm saying? Just to let the person know that I like let them. them. Know. Because, like I said, the games are beginning. You know what I'm saying? And then you get the phone let call the, the next begin. day afternoon. <laughs> so let's get one last, one last indication gym. that a girl likes you. We need a gym. We need, we need the number one indicator that a girl likes you. What's the number one? I just feel like the number one indicator is you start to communicate with the person, like through text or phone. That's I feel like that's the number she, one. She consistent. She's starting to because be consistent. Everybody with the has text to understand not everyone's as socially aware as other people. Popular kids are a little more socially aware than than kids when you go to school and you call them nerds. But it's just the social awareness. And and when you get responses, you don't know how to react sometimes. You don't know how to lead the conversation. Some people are professionals at it. Some people just know yeah. when they know and they go for it and they, they're bold and they're brazen and they're, they're brave. And some people are very timid and shy. And, and women need to understand that with men, the same way that it's very difficult for you, for us, it's very difficult. And we get rejected Way more oh, than y'all do. Sure. And rejection sure. And as an painful. actor, you know how it it's feels painful. to get rejected sure. where you go into an audition and you don't hear back. Yeah, but I still feel like men need to just go for it. Because yeah. I think the problem is even yeah. with, there's a lot of men with me that go I think that would I could probably totally hook up with and marry. But they're too intimidated. To even yeah, go. I know. It's we'll always the niggas that we'll, fucking talk to We'll me, talk you know about this during our business <laughs> meeting. Okay, so <laughs> let's get to um, let, uh, where can people find you if you want to be found? Oh, you guys can find me on Instagram. It's soulful79, S-E-O-U-L-F-L-7-9. And I'm on Facebook, Shonda Mason. Um, Sheesh. Yeah. And it's, so, it's Shonda, C H U A N D A. Yeah, true. It's actually uh, Chanda. It's, yeah. it's Korean for sleepy. 
Oh, yeah, I know. That's cute. Learn something new every day. That is something yeah. new every but day. But it's so crazy because I didn't like the way it was pronounced for my family, Chanda. So and what I are you working on it. coming up? Oh, so um, oh, so I just did a national commercial for uh, Modelo, so you could probably look out for that in Congrats. I think July. Gosh, I'm hoping sooner than later so I can start get that money. That's major. I know, major, major, and I'm playing a veteran in it, so that's super awesome because I'm really being Dope. me. Um, but the next move that I'm making is um, I'll be moving back east in May to open up my spin studio, which is RTB Cycle. Congrats. So I have to look that up online. There's also okay. an Instagram page for that RTB yeah. Cycle. Um, and if you're in the Maryland area, come by and come get a free Love ride. Love RTB on me. Cycle, and we RTB talked about this like two years ago, and you now you're making it happen. That's beautiful. Happen, That's yeah. amazing, and it's very empowering. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having we me. We appreciate Thanks you. Fun. Yeah, it was very um, insightful. Good. Good. Our imperfect gentleman of the week this week is going to be uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and every civil rights leader in the United States, uh, and we will be having Black History Imperfect Gentlemen of the Weeks each and every Respect. week during Black History Month. Respect. And we appreciate what they mean to the community. George, thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, George was No, awesome. George was a guest today. I'm oh, not George even messing with guests. Guest. George. Yeah, George was a guest today. No, I'm not even messing with George. Guest I'm not even messing with George. I'm not even with George. I'm not even messing with George. I'm not even George. I'm a guest now I'm because you got a business meeting going on, and I'm a friend. But you know what happened with the friends at the end, I'm not even messing with You might become the guest, bro. Thank you so much for being on the show, George. We appreciate having you. Thank you for being on the show, on my show, Toronto. Thank you. No, thank you for being on on my show, bro. Uh, my because show. Because you're a guest right now, bro. If, I don't even if, trust if, you. If I if I don't re recall, I invited you to the very first show. I don't even know you, You bro. are my permanent <laughs> guest. But you know who I am? I am Teron Von Gossery all across the board. That's I-A-M-T-E-H-R-A-N. Find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the whole nine. And I'm alongside. Be my guest. Be my <laughs> our guest. Our favorite Put guest. the magic to the <laughs> test. Mr. George Corey. Find me at Mr. George Corey on Instagram because I don't even like vibe with Twitter right now. Just find me on Instagram. Spell the last name. That's K H O U R I. And we are Imperfect, Imperfect Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Remember, no, nobody's perfect. But, but us. us. Martin on the boards. We'll see y'all next week. Yeah, yeah.